Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, this will be a kit, uh, a new kit, uh, coming out soon, and I'll probably, uh, I'll probably sell it in assembled form too, I don't know. Uh, what it is, is it is 12 volt power supply, uh, a 12 volt 1 amp, connected to a wireless trans power transmitter. Got a wireless power receiver here, connected to um, a printed circuit board that I made up. And that printed circuit board has an on-off switch for charging, a, an 18 ohm resistor, which is actually kind of high. It's all I had, so currently I'm using an 18 ohm current limiting uh, power resistor, and two supercapacitors. And the wireless receiver antenna solders directly onto the, the red and black leads on the board. And sorry about the blur, I'm without a lab right now. Um, and as well, you might see two test points here that are labeled pause and neg. So that's your actual, you can splice off that. Uh, these are obviously your supercapacitors, zero supercapacitors. Uh, it can, they can be rated for 2.5 volts each or 2.7 volts each. These ones are 2.7 volts each. The, the, um, regula the, the power uh, on the receiver is regulated on board to 5 volts, so you don't need to have any additional regulation. You can splice off here, use them as test points to see how much voltage is charged on the bank, and that's what we're going to use them for. But what you typically would do is use these positive and negative uh, test points and splice off the board to another project. So you can use this as your battery, your uh, charger, and then splice off to your circuit. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'll give you a quick demonstration. These are... Uh, 60 farad 2.7 volt capacitors. The, the, the bank value is uh, 30 farads at 5.4 volts max. And once you're done charging, you simply turn this off into the off, the switch in the off position so there's no back powering through the resistor into the, uh, the antenna. Not that there would be much anyway, but I didn't want to put a diode in here because I wanted to make sure that I would get the maximum. I wouldn't have a, a blockage of uh, and a drop of about 0.7 volts. So I just added a switch in there. So let's give it a try. Sorry about the uh, the blur in the movement here. I don't have my uh, tripod right now. So I've got my 12 volt adapter plugged in. It's connected to my transmitter. Uh, transmitter sitting on top of the receiver. You, you don't need to have them so close to each other or even touching by any means. But that means for maximum power transfer. And I don't have very many hands right now. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, with the, my limited hands, show you how much voltage is on here right now, and then we're going to we're gonna turn our on switch on so charging commences, and we'll watch to see how fast this baby charges. Thanks to the, my ghetto power of tape, uh, I've got my leads connected to the positive and negative test points. Point... 3, 4 volts. Uh, I'll turn on my on switch. Okay. Alright, there we go. There we go. Wireless charging. And that will save onto our bank. As long as we turn the off switch, the, uh, the uh, charging switch off once it's at a nominal voltage. So I'll just leave this for a few minutes and we'll come back to it. Just to give you a quick idea of how fast this is charging, I put it on my 2 volt setting. So about 10 millivolts per second. About 5 minutes later, 3.72 volts. So if I gave this another minute or two, it would go each about 5 volts and we would be ready to stop it. But there's no point in waiting around for that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the charge by Flicking the sorry about the focus on off switch on the board. I lost my connection here. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Yeah, lost the connection on the board. Unfortunately, 3.75 volts, and it'll stay that way. And now my trans my transmitter is not pulling anything because the receiver is not accepting anything. So I can unplug that and that will be our stored volt, our stored power. Now, again, really sorry for the waviness here. Um, 
very easy to put together. Uh, I get these uh, coil, coil the transmitter receivers as is. Yeah, I made up the little PCB, and the PCB really all it is is a uh, current limiting resistor, inputs for the tr the, the receiver wires, uh, a power switch, and two terminal blocks for the capacitors, and then of course two test points slash splicing points so that you can wire it to your circuit. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll be selling this first uh, in assembled form. It'll have the 12 volt adapter uh, soldered to the transmitter and the receiver soldered to uh, this board with two um, two capacitors on it. So, thanks for watching. Uh, visit us at engineeringshock.com and electronicglessons.com. I've got a lot of kits coming out soon with, uh, with these wireless transmitters because I think they're pretty neat and you can easily put this into your project. So, take care and thanks for the, your patience. I realize this video might have given some of you motion sickness.